My name is Adrian Esposito, and I am a filmmaker. I also have Asperger's Syndrome, a disability on the autism spectrum. I was educated almost exclusively in the special education school system in New York State. One of the things I like to do is imagine what it would have been like for me if I had been born earlier, say, 1944. By going back in time, I will explore the conditions for the developmentally disabled in those times. My story will be told through the experiences of people with developmental disabilities who lived then. Gradually, we will wind up in the present and meet people with developmental disabilities who have dreams, talents, and great abilities. So in the beginning, I think things were pretty good, but as time went on, the institution started to get very overcrowded. And when things get overcrowded, nothing good comes from it. And the more people you have, it means you have to have enough staff available to help support them. And unfortunately, in a lot of the institutions, they didn't have the staff. So the overcrowded conditions really caused it to be very deplorable, and a lot of abuse and things occurred as a result of that. I, when I basically went into the institution, I knew that I had to grow from a five-year-old boy into a man in a hurry. And that meant just trying to stay alive. We had good people, we had bad people. I used to get the help now of all of them with sticks and bells. And I got my head kicked into the wall. I mean, got me expensive court. When I saw the abuse, um, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I just decided that I had to do something about it. And when I would go and speak to the administration about um, not only the hard conditions, but also the abuse that we suffered, um, I oftentimes would get punished because, you know, the staff didn't want us, didn't want me to be uh, letting people know what was really going on. He interviewed it was snuck me off the grass. Interviewed it and I told him what was going on. We had to tell him where to go and meet with the parents. I was giving out all the information because I did there I did there for eight, 17, 18 years. And I knew the end of the of Roman Park. I have a friend who was a doctor in Roman Park. And a good friend of mine, he got fired and called all of them. And we all met them. Before he got fired, we organized the parent and built this big tent organization. And that's how all of this came out. When Cole was born, all I wanted was for him to have love in his life. 
Well, for me, well, um, I love it here because I, I, I want to be, I want to be as a singer and a dancer, and so is that. I, 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 here, 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 I'm, here, I'm, I'm comfortable. I love it here. I like to sing, act, and dance, and everything else. And I like to be a movie star someday. Well, uh, basically, what I want to do after I leave RIT is I want to uh, I want to start my own business uh, and uh, as a and, and be a working photographer. I love having a CSS self-determination plan. I get to do what I want to do, not what everyone in the day program does. CSS self-determination is a great program if you are up for the work. I receive my programming through the self-determination program and my activities involve filmmaking. Autism, most people don't understand. I like to add this so people do understand. If you don't, if you don't understand it, with autism, your mind is going 100 miles per hour and your body's going 10. You have to work your heartbeat, your mind, and your thoughts all one time, and you're trying to figure what is going on. And it's very difficult for people. 